declare the meeting open and a warm welcome to councillors, our new general manager, of course, uh, Ms. Boxall, and uh, also to uh, Pastor Kupke and members of the gallery. Uh, in declaring the meeting open, this meeting is being recorded and will be placed on Tomorrow Shire Council's webpage for public information and all present today are reminded that whilst we're speaking that we agree that our views and comments are being recorded and published and we're also reminded that if or when we're speaking that we're of course to be respectful to others and use the appropriate language. And Tomorrow Shire Council accepts no liability for any defamatory or offensive remarks or gestures during this council meeting. So I thank you. We now proceed to the acknowledgement of country. As we begin our meeting today, Tomorrow Shire councillors, our senior staff and I would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of Tomorrow Shire's land and waters, the Radjuri people. We pay our heartfelt respect to their elders, both past and present, acknowledging the role they have and will continue to play as members of our Tomorrow Shire community, a special place we all proudly call home. Now we move to the opening prayer, and today that's in the hands of Pastor Darren Kupke. And again, welcome, Pastor Kupke. Uh, thank you, um, Mr Mayor and all the councillors. I um, just want to start with our reading for Sunday, or for our church in Lutheran Church here. Um, Matthew 20 from verse 23. Jesus calls his disciples together and says... You know that the rulers of Gentiles lord it over them, and their high officials exercise authority over them. Not so with you. Instead, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant, and whoever wants to be, your f to be first must be your slave. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. And so uh, you're probably familiar with the term minister used for clergy. The word minister means to serve. And we also use that in political settings. Um, we have a Prime Minister. He is the Chief Servant. Although some, some of the people in the role don't always act like that, do they? <laughs> uh, and other Ministers uh, of Cabinet, etc., are also called to serve us. And I think even though you're called councillors, I think that's part of your role too. As for all of us as leaders, we are to serve um, the people under us. And of course, um, as humans, we're not um, always great at that. And so Jesus comes to show us the greatest example and comes to serve us and so he comes not to be served but to serve and give his life as a ransom so let's pray father god we thank you um, for jesus coming to serve us and so lord we pray you'd help each of us to serve in our various roles and responsibilities help us to serve the people under our care to listen to them with love and respect to honour them, to bless them, to encourage them, and to work together for a unity for our Shire. And so, Father, I pray today for the councillors and others involved in the meeting today. Help them to listen to each other. Help them to love each other, to care for each other. Bless them in their roles, but also bless them in their homes, their families. Watch over them, protect them. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Very lovely words. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, now, we have any apologies, Madam General Manager? No apologies for today. Thank you. Uh, Councillors, uh, any declaration of any interest at this time, please? No? Thank you. Uh, now, let's uh, go to public presentation, and we do have a a presentation that I'd like to make, and that is, of course, to our, our new general manager. Uh, so I'd uh, invite the general manager to please rise in her place. Obviously, uh, councillors, this is the first meeting of our new general manager, uh, Ms Melissa Boxall, and uh, it's uh, a very, very special occasion for m the general manager, and particularly so to have uh, her mother, Miss Beard, and her children here <laughs> in the chamber, very enthusiastically looking on uh, and uh, being very proud of uh, their mother as well they should be. So uh, in bidding you a very, very warm welcome, Madam General Manager, to uh, 
to this role and to our Tamora Shire community. You've certainly hit the ground running and we're very, very grateful uh, for the uh, respect and the, the love and support that you've shown councillors, our staff and our community. And we know that it will only continue uh, as the years progress. And with those words, I would like to, on behalf of councillors, I'd like to present you with this brooch of Tamora Shire and I know that you will, I know that you'll wear it with uh, tremendous pride, as as we do, and uh, and work as hard as you can uh, for this special council and this community that we love and we cherish. So again, a very very warm welcome. Thank you. I draw glasses. So that's. Thank you very much. Uh, council, we now proceed to the mayoral minute. Tomorrow Shire Council, together with the entire community, formally welcome our new general manager, Ms Melissa Boxall. After an intensive period of recruitment, councillors unanimously selected Ms Boxall to replace our previous general manager, Mr Lavelle, after 28 consecutive years in the role. Our general manager comes to us with exceptional credentials and experience and is highly regarded across our local government sector. This is Ms Boxall's first appointment as a general manager and I know that we will all support her to succeed in this crucial role. Ms Boxall does have large boots to fill, however, Council is already most impressed with her efforts and we know Ms Boxall will continue to give us her best. Council and our Shire citizens also extend a warm welcome to the General Manager's husband, Jason, and her children, together with her mother. And we're pleased they have already started immersing themselves in our Tamora Shire community. Most of us here have been born and bred in Tamora Shire. However, what is even more special is our General Manager, together with her family, have chosen to be part of our Tamora Shire family and we're mighty proud that they have. So uh, with those words, councillors, I'd ask that someone please move that the mayoral minute be noted. Thank you, Councillor McLaren, Councillor Good, moved and seconded. Discussion, if there's no further discussion, I'll put the motion. All those of that opinion, please say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. Declare the motion carried. Thank you. Now, <laughs> And uh, we bid farewell to our honoured guests. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Thank you for coming. Uh, <clears throat> Councillors, let's go to General Manager. Sorry. Uh, yes, that's... Uh, oh, I beg your pardon. Yes. Thank you, Madam General Manager. <laughs> Confirmation of the minutes for... Uh, the June meeting of Tamora Shire Council. Someone prepared to move that they be received as true and correct. The Deputy Mayor, Councillor Good, thank you. Moved and seconded. All those of that opinion, please say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. <laughs> Clear the motion. Carried. Thank you. Any matters arising, Madam General Manager? To you, Mr Mayor, no matters arising. Thank you. I was just doing that to test you, that was all. <laughs> Uh, thank you. We now go to the business paper. Page 9 of our white papers, the minutes of the Assets and Operations Committee and the Deputy Mayor Councillor Sinclair is the Chairman. Uh, Mr Mayor, I'll make the uh, report be received. Thank you, Mr Deputy Mayor. Uh, is there a seconder for the motion? Councillor Oliver, thank you. Moved, seconded. All those of that opinion, please say aye. To the contrary, no and declare the motion carried. Thank you. Uh, the Deputy Mayor, any items to highlight, to raise, please? Uh, yes, Mr Mayor, item 4.7 the uh, tree and pedestrian access in Davu Street, at the, uh, as this meeting, there's no actual decision made. Um, so I believe this will be a report going back to the August uh, assets meeting. Thank you, Mr Deputy Mayor. That's the uh, advice of the General Manager the Director uh, of Admin and Finance, and uh, if Council are happy with that, um, uh, then that report can be fed through 
um, at the August Assets and Operations. Councillors, oh no, you're right. Thank you. So, councillors, the uh, remainder of the report noting that that um, will happen in 4.7. Is there any other? Uh, Councillor Good. Thank you, Mr Mayor. Um, it's probably more of a comment um, in relation to the um, review of the street trees in Tamora Shire. Um, I request that when we get a, a report or a request to remove a tree, if it can refer back to the this tree report as the condition that Mr McCrone said the tree was, so whether he recommended that it be removed within the first five years, ten years, so, so we get know what it is, because from the report here, we don't know which trees are which, We're, like there's obviously mm. just a map, which is obviously, mm. we need to get the, the bigger amount, a bigger map. Um, secondly, in relation to the proposal, the, he has got some proposals to remove trees. I would like um, a report back to council as to um, a, a proposal as to what, what, what to do with those trees. I note that the, the first lot of trees, it's the first five years, so I would imagine a five year plan as to what to um, remove the trees and what's to happen. Um, and the last one is probably not part of this, but the, um, there's a few jacarandas removed from um, Victoria Street with the the, la the road has just been tarred over. Um, I'd like to see them replaced with um, another jacaranda um, in accordance with our tree policy. Uh, thank you, Councillor Good. So in relation to 4.1, the street tree audit plan. Are you um, uh, are you wanting to uh, move the motion in relation to 4.1, or are you prepared to carry those views forward when council uh, consider this uh, in together with the um, any other comments received on public exhibition? I'm prepared to carry it forward. Yeah. Right. Thanks, Councillor Good. I go to <coughs> Councillor McLaren. Thank you, Mr Mayor. I've just got a comment on item 4.9, the urban dog off-leash area. Yes. Um, on page 71. Thank you. And the recommendation is to investigate the oval as a venue for an off-leash area. I'm not sure about that in that I, th I see the Golden Gate Reserve as being capable of being a multi-purpose site as a detention basin and a dog off-leash area. I know it isn't adequately fenced at the moment and has a few weed issues, but in terms of parking or a toilet, I mean, the toilet's just dying there across the road at the Oval anyway, and there's parking along the Oval there, so I don't see that as an impediment. What I am concerned about is losing some good quality turfed area for the residents in that area um, to have it fenced off as a dog park area where it'll pretty much go down in quality, and the those residents in that area, that's probably a, a fairly significant recreation area for them. And I, I understand that junior cricket have either, they've either built or they're going to build practice nets at the Oval, so in the corner near the netball courts there. So I'm a bit concerned about just making that a decision without consulting with them. But I kind of feel that the dog off-leash area would suit the Golden Gate Reserve as a better venue moving forward, even if it had a few cement pipes and things that could be submerged if it was used as a detention. Thank you, Councillor McLaren. Uh, do any of the officers have any comment? The uh, engineering assets manager? Oh, the only comment I'd make is that um, the Cricket Association um, were or are planning to move that cricket, the cricket nets to um, the rec ground. Um, but outside of that, I have um, no views on the, on the dog park. Thank you. Councillor Reinhold. Yes, thank you, Mr Mayor. Um, yes, I wasn't at the Assets and Ops meeting, but um, when I was reading it, I was quite excited about the railway precinct because I thought it's right in the centre of town and it's going to be a beautiful big, kind of like Central Park in New York, that it would be ideal. You've got toilets there, you've got the park for kids. Um, yeah, anyway, that was my thought. Thank you, Councillor Reinhold. Uh, go to Councillor Good. Uh, thank you, Mr Mayor. Um, I agree with Councillor McLaren. I think uh, the Golden Gate Reserve would be... Um, would, I'd prefer that to the Oval, um, for the same sort of reason that she mentioned. Um, and to answer Councillor Reinhold's... Or to reply to that, um, yes, the railway probably would be a, a preferred area, but 
it's not within our control mm. and um, previous experience with other people in getting this land owned by the railway um, is many years down the track, as in six to eight years, mm. plus um, you would need a, a contamination report and then a remediation report um, and it's basically too hard. Mm. Thanks, Councillor Good. Councillor Irvine. Just to comment on the, the Golden Gate Reserve proposal, it's earmarked as a stormwater detention basin, so were it to be uh, needed for that purpose, then basically the, the dog off-leash area is out of commission for that period of time. Um, I can see a great need for a, a purpose-built facility as a dog off-leash area, and I think it would get high levels of utilisation. I've also noted that the surface at the Oval at the moment isn't really up to any sort of sporting standard and there's, it's holding water at a, a, at a reasonable depth in certain areas there um, just through unevenness in the surface. Um, so I think if... I think it's been discussed that the objective of the stormwater detention is to have that available for public open space when it's not required for stormwater detention but I don't know whether that also lends itself to the intermittent use as a, a dog off leash area. I think that the dog off leash area will be required consistently. Um, so my preference at this point in time is still for um, the Oval in that context. Thanks, Councillor Irvine. Councillor McLaren. I understand a detention basin is only a temporary uh, measure to slow water down and it will drain. And in terms of having priority for having more access to a recreation open space, I think dogs are low priority to humans. And I think the oval, keeping that for the residents, I can see maybe some... If it's not going to be a, a sporting ground, it's still a wonderful open space that could have some significantly large shade trees that really is, you know, at a very good standard now and wouldn't take much to improve to a public open space. And I think that's a pretty low value area and it could multi-use for a dog off-leash area in the 90% of time that it's dry and in the 10% of time that it's not, well, there's one out of the lake. Thank you. That, thanks, Councillor McLaren. Uh, unless there's a, um, a motion in uh, Councillor Bushell. Uh, thank you, Mr Mayor. Uh, I just wanted to move the assets and ops minutes. I was happy with all the uh, recommendations. The report and recommendations, um, noting also uh, the general manager's advice about the yes, report coming back. Yeah, with that. Um, I see that recommendation saying that we're going to um, enter into discussions. So I guess if those discussions become glaring, then I guess it will be coming back to us anyway. So I'm quite happy with the, re uh, the resolution. So I'd like to move the whole report pending those advice that we've received. Thank you, Councillor Bushel. And I think it's an important point that you, you do note that in, in terms of the recommendation that it's not committing Council uh, to anything at this point. Uh, so, um, yeah, so I do. I thank you for that. Is there a second for Councillor Bushel's motion? That is to adopt the Assets and Operations Committee report and recommendations. Councillor Irvine, thank you. Moved and seconded. Discussion, Councillor McLaren. Can I just move an amendment in regard to resolution 872023? That's the resolution regarding the yes, dog page 75. Area. The reason I want to make an amendment is because it actually says that it be considered as the preferred option, and I'm not happy with it being the preferred option. Um, so I'd like to move a motion that the um, council investigate the practicalities or the uh, or having the Golden Gate Reserve as the preferred option. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So Councillor McLaren, McLaren rather, is moving the amendment, and that is that the Golden Gate uh, Reserve be the preferred option, and that's, of course, in relation to 4.9 of the Assets and Operations Committee report. Seconded? Awesome. Councillor Good, thank you. Moved and seconded. Discussion on the amendment? Uh, discussion on the original motion, and that is that uh, the report and recommendations be adopted not i'm going to put the amendment first are we all we're all clear no. councillor councillor bushell uh, just a question mr mayor when this uh, amendment comes through then we don't enter into discussions do we with any party because that resolution becomes null and void is that correct we don't even talk to sporting fields uh, sporting groups now 
Is well, that... not, not, well, my understanding, thank you, Councillor Bush, my understanding is that if the amendment gets up, then we'd only be talking with, um, well, well, we wouldn't because it's Golden Gate, yeah. Thank you. Uh, the Deputy Mayor, Councillor Sinclair. Yeah, thanks, Mr Mayor. Um, if that's the case, I was just wondering whether it perhaps it would be better if the, the, the uh, motion went along the lines of the, uh, the uh, council staff look at both options and, uh, and bring a report back. So the options of the Golden Gate Reserve and, yeah, and the Oval. And the Oval, and no actual preferred site. Well, thanks, Mr. Deputy Mayor. So uh, I'm going to ask uh, Councillor Bushell and uh, the second of us, Councillor Irvine, uh, the first motion. Yes. So is the mover and second are happy to incorporate Golden Gate in with the Oval to be investigated? Councillor Bushell. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Yes, I am actually. So you're happy. Thank you. Councillor Irvine's happy. Okay. Thank you. The uh, mover and second are. Sorry, but that's from the, it's still an amendment. You're amending the. Big pardon. It's still an amendment to the committee's resolution. Yes. Because the resolution yes. was that the reports and recommendations as presented be adopted. So yes. if you want to vary that. Just turn your microphone on, sorry. please. Sorry, the director. Uh, sorry, I, I believe that we'd still need an amendment because the motion that's been uh, put was uh, the recommendation that the reports and recommendations as presented be adopted from the Assets and Ops Committee. Yes. Yes, that's quite right. It would have been ideal if we had have just dealt with the 4.9 on its own, but at any rate, um, that's not the case. So, sorry, the Deputy Mayor. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, can the amended motion become, have both in it? Okay, so we have... Um, uh, we have a motion currently before us, so Councillor Bushell and Councillor Irvine, and that is the reports and the recommendations as presented uh, be adopted. Now, uh, Councillor Bushell and Councillor Irvine, are you happy to withdraw that motion at the moment? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Now, can we then please just look at 4.9, the urban dog off-leash area? Councillor McLaren, in relation to that report, are you moving... Oh, sorry, uh, Councillor Irvine. Can I move a motion that the, uh, we make an amendment to that resolution? On 4.9, the urban dog off-leash area? Yep. Yep. And that the committee resolves to recommend that the council consider the Oval and Golden Gate Reserve as options and enter into discussions with the affected sporting groups and schools. And further receive a yes. future report and proposed on proposed designs and costings. Thank you, Councillor Irvine. Is Councillor Good moved and seconded, and this is just in relation to 4.9, urban dog off-leash area. Discussion? Yep. So it's just exactly the same, but just the inclusion of the Oval and Golden Gate. Yes as options. Yep. No, no, that's, they've withdrawn. Oh, my amendment's still there. <laughs> no, 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 well, that's with, with, uh, the, well, I ask. My amendment was that the Golden Gate be the, be the preferred option for the dog that. Uh, well, I thought I asked if you and Councillor Good would withdraw that, and that's my understanding that you withdrew that. No, I haven't. Yeah, right. ask you if you want to amend yours. Okay. So, uh, so I'm going to ask Councillor McLaren and Councillor Good. Are you? Do you wish to withdraw uh, the amend the the, uh, the amended motion? I don't because oh, it doesn't. Yeah. It's not just sporting clubs. You're effectively taking away general public open space for the whole community of that area and consulting with only the community group, the, the sporting groups doesn't consult the community surrounding it to whether they want to lose it to, to a dog area. So I'm quite happy to just have it as what my amendment was. Okay. So therefore, 
therefore, in relation to the Assets and Operations Committee report and its recommendations, uh, we had a, a motion that was moved by Councillor Bushell and Councillor Irvine that the reports and recommendations as presented be adopted. Then there was an amendment put by Councillor McLaren and Councillor Good that Council consider the Oval and Golden Gate Reserve as options and consult with affected parties and further that uh, report on proposed designs and costings come back to Council. Now, uh, the mover and the seconder of the original motion, are you, are you happy for your original motion to stand as is? Because that's the amendment the Deputy Mayor. Uh, Mr Mayor, the, the oval wasn't in that oh, amended. No, 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 in the, that's quite right. as the preferred option, full stop. And further, that report on proposed designs and costings come back to Council. OK, so Council McLaren and Councillor Good, you're happy with that amendment as it stands? So that's the motion because the original motion has been withdrawn. Well, I did ask if you withdraw it and both... Yeah. Okay. So in relation to 4.9, we now have one motion, and that is that Council consider the Golden Gate Reserve as the preferred option and further that a report on proposed designs and costings come back to Council. So this is just in relation to 4.9. So I'm going to ask for any further discussion on 4.9 on what you have before you. If there's no further discussion, uh, Council Irvine. I can see... One issue with the um, delivery of this um, dog off leash area on Golden Gate Reserve, we're in the process of um, undertaking detailed design for stormwater detention in that area, and that's going to take priority and that's going to take time. So, no decision in this space regarding dog off leash is going to be able to be made until we've got resolutions because its primary purpose is going to be stormwater detention. And this will be a very secondary purpose. So I can just see basically a non-decision on the dog off leash area for a considerable amount of time until all of those other matters are resolved. I, I do see a, a high level of need in the community and I do see people um, exercising their dogs in spaces that haven't been declared dog off leash areas. Um, and I would Someone mentioned it to me today off-handedly about the fact that it's a little bit... They just find it a little bit too far to go out to the lake and they were asking about options for dog off-leash areas. So it is something that's front of mind for the community. It was mentioned up at Tomorrow West Park. It wasn't appropriate up there. This to mine, and I live in town and I have some friends in that area and I do see visit that area reasonably consistently and I don't see a high degree of use by the local community of that space and I do see that with these enhancements it could probably be a higher level of use and fill like basically enhancements to a sort of an undeveloped area we're already got the um, obligations as to the the maintenance of the space so once these um, facilities are provided we've already got toilets in place there's a lot of positives for this project and I just don't see the degree of negatives that maybe some others do. Thanks, Councillor Irvine. Uh, but just remember, councillors, that, that this motion, if it is successful, uh, it's um, uh, not locking council into anything at all. Even though it says it's the preferred option, the report will come back with proposed designs and costings and council can uh, accept that or reject it or amend it. Uh, but that's uh, a matter for council. Further discussion, if not... I'm going to put the motion, and that's just in relation to 4.9, the urban dog <coughs> off-leash area. Councillor McLaren. Can I amend it to include the Oval and the Golden Gate Reserve and a report come back to Council, If the please? seconder is happy, thank you. <laughs> the art of compromise. 
<laughs> no, well, I think it's great. Everyone's listening. Everyone's listening to what everyone's saying, and I think that's excellent. And um, uh, thank you for your patience in relation to this issue. <laughs> Uh, so, can we please uh, have the motion that Councillor Good and Councillor, uh, sorry, Councillor McLaren and Councillor Good uh, have before Council in relation to uh, Report 23936, the urban uh, dog off-leash area, that Council consider the Oval and Golden Gate Reserves as preferred options, and further, that a report on proposed designs and costings come back to Council. So the mover and second is happy. Thank you. The General Manager? Through you, Mr Mayor, the only comment I would make is this resolution doesn't provide for consultation with affected stakeholders. Um, so if councillors were of a mind to engage with stakeholders, that would need to be added to that particular um, resolution. Thank you, Madam General Manager. The uh, Councillor McLaren? Uh, it would, I'm thinking that it would be great to go out to community consultation mm -hmm after we've got some sort of concept plans to give them some idea of what we're talking about doing, like how it will look or whatever. So maybe we'll get the staff to do or, some re research so we yeah. can... Thank you, Councillor McLaren. Or I, I'm probably leaning towards what the General Manager is saying, because at least that information would then feed into that report for councillors to consider um, whether you know, stakeholders, sporting groups, community are uh, happy or not. Councillor McLaren? Happy to amend it. Okay, thank you. The second, I'm happy to include and also, we are getting closer. <laughs> no, 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 we've got to deal with this one first. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> pardon me. And enter into discussions with affected parties, and that covers sporting uh, community residents. The general manager, you happy with that? Um, I. I would limit it to the um, impacted users in the first instance and probably to the point of broader community consultation is once you've come up with some proposed designs and costing, so once you've got endorsement from council to proceed, because I think if you go out to broad community consultation on two sides at this time, I think that could be um, confusing and um, may raise expectations we can't meet as a council. So I think it probably needs to be limited to the, in, the, the stakeholders, the impacted stakeholders in the first instance, and then when we bring something yeah. back, we go out to broader consultation. So the impacted stakeholders. So does that mean sporting schools, or is that also... Or is just put impacted stakeholders? Will that yeah. cover it? Okay, mover and second are happy with impacted stakeholders. Thank you. Now, there being no further discussion on this motion in relation to 4.9 the urban dog off-leash area. I'm now going to put that motion to you. All those of that opinion please say aye. aye. To the contrary no. Declare the motion carried and thank you everybody for your patience. Now I think Councillor Busher was going to move the remainder of the Assets and Operations Committee report and recommendations be adopted and seconded. Thank you Mr Mayor. Yes. Councillor Irvine. <laughs> moved and seconded. No further discussion. I'll put the motion, all those that opinion, please say aye. For the contrary, no. Clear the motion and carry it. Thank you. That's only going to get better. <laughs> uh, councillors, let's now go over to page 151, the uh, Economic Development Visitations Committee report. Uh, I was the acting chairman in the absence of Councillor McLaren, who's the chairman of that committee, um, and a motion to have the report uh, received. Councillor McLaren. I'll move that way. Thank, thank you. you. Seconded Councillor Good. Moved. Seconded. Uh, all those of that opinion, please say aye. To the contrary, no. Clear the motion carried. Thank you. Uh, Councillors, you see there the um, uh, the report of economic development and just so much happening. Uh, Councillor Bushell. Uh, thank you, Mr Mayor. I'd just like to uh, adopt the report and resolution. Thank you. So Councillor Bushel is moving that uh, the report and recommendations for Economic Development Visitations Committee be uh, adopted. Seconded for the motion, Council Oliver. Thank you, moved. Seconded. Discussion? This is no further discussion. I'll put the motion. All those of that opinion, please say aye. aye. The contrary, no. Declare the motion carried. I, I thank you very much. <coughs> Council's over to page 156, delegates reports. Uh, do we have delegates reports, please? Uh, Councillor Oliver. Yeah, thank you, Mr Mayor. Um, on Sunday, I went out to the Springdale 
um, committee meeting, I had their AGM and all um, office holders were returned. They had no choice. <laughs> but um, they did want me to um, pass on their thanks and gratitude to the environmental officer, Chris, for the work of upgrading the septic system out there, that the public toilets at the rest stop. It's, um, it's remedied the problem. Uh, there's mm. no more smelly things and um, it all looks pretty good. But prior to the meeting, um, Colonel Thorne and myself were just sort of standing up the hitching rail that's there and um, looking around and the place looks really, really neat and tidy at the moment. It's a gateway to the Shire and um, it just looks really, really inviting. So. Mm. I think that first impression we get as we drive into our shire, it's, it's a good and long and, and, and lasting one and, and it's, um, it's good that it's looking as well as what it is. So, mm. so thanks very much, Chris, and um, thank you, Mr Mayor. That's it. Thank you, Councillor Oliver, and well done to the director and his team. Uh, further delegates' reports, we go to the Deputy Mayor, Councillor Sinclair. Uh, thanks, Mr Mayor. Uh, I attended the, uh, the Rotary change over for dinner a couple of weeks ago along with uh, Councillor Judd, who is a member of Rotary, but a um, uh, very good night. Um, Bob Oliver, who's uh, he's gone in as the president, and I think this is his third, third time, or well, last time he had two years in a row, I think, but, um, but uh, yeah, Rotary's going along quite well, I think, and uh, they certainly make a big impact on our, our local area, area and, and, you know, worldwide, actually, when you look at some of the projects they're, they're running. Um, on last uh, Tuesday night, um, we had the rural ratepayers uh, evening for the um, southeast quarter of the Shire, so Springdale, Combanning, uh, Sebastopol, and Lymos area at the uh, Golf Club. Uh, Council Bushell and myself um, sort of organised that. We ended up with uh, a, oh, about 40 residents to, coming along, which uh, was very good was on the upper end of my expectations. Mm. So I think the uh, we, we we both now sent a text message to anyone who had it in our phone, which I mm. think made a big difference. Mm. Uh, so thanks, Councillor Bushell, for uh, doing that too. Um, and we also we had um, the engineering staff, uh, the works manager, um, he's not here. Works manager and assets manager spoke on uh, you know what's what's been happening in that area, what has happened in the last um, year or two, and then what's proposed in the next um, well, few years too, um, which um, I think was you know, good, good information. We had a fair bit of feedback afterwards. You know, there's a few, nothing serious, but there's a few specific um, you know, issues with roads and places you know, because of the wet weather and mm. so forth. But, um, uh, um, and you know, then there's... Uh, We've talked around the, uh, some of the weeds problems, box, box thorn and uh, St John's wort, and um, and rabbits too. Oh, there's rabbits. <laughs> a bit of a rabbit concern in the Mossa Sebastopol area, and who was responsible and so forth. But um, yeah, I'd like to thank um, the asset manager and the works manager for um, for uh, explaining what's going what's going on to the uh, mm. on the on, on to the. People that area, um, I think it's 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 good to have these meetings, and I'm pretty sure that's the fourth one, I think. So I think the whole show has pretty much been covered now. So I believe it's probably back to um, back to Kempton <laughs> his area, I think. So yeah. Anyway, thank you. Thanks, Mr. Deputy Mayor, and thank you very much for again representing us at uh, the Rotary Club changeover. Uh, obviously, your family has a strong affinity, of course, and Councillor Judd is a past uh, president. Uh, and thank you as well for uh, conducting the ratepayers, uh, rural ratepayers evening and uh, Councillor Bushell and understand the general manager uh, yeah. uh, attended and uh, was very well received also. Yes, I'll just put this, this uh, general manager come along and uh, yeah, met some of our locals and uh, we worked out the fear of the ones that uh, yeah, can be a bit boisterous at times and so forth. I guess you get them wherever you go. Um, and another person too, I did forget, and I apologise too on the to um, the works manager, I, Pat K, the overseer, was come out on the night too, and I did I, I neglected to uh, to, uh, to acknowledge him there at the time, but um, uh, the, the works manager did uh, cover for me, so it's good. So. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Deputy Mayor. 
Uh, further delegates' reports, uh, just to update um, councillors that uh, Councillor Oliver and I uh, attended the Lions Club changeover last week, and uh, Mr. Peter McGee is reinstalled as the president and uh, and the board. And of course, uh, we took the opportunity on council's behalf to warmly thank uh, Lions for the crucial role they play. Uh, in our community in particular in relation to the recycling partnership that we have with them and uh, uh, they, um, they do a great job and, and uh, they know that they are deeply valued. And the only uh, other one councillors that I had for you that the, the general manager and I will be attending the New South Wales Country Mayor's meeting in uh, Parliament House in Sydney on the 3rd and 4th of August and I'm very pleased that we've arranged a series of meetings uh, so with our local government minister, uh, Mr Honig, uh, we will be introducing our general manager uh, to him and I'm very grateful that he's made, uh, made time for us. Uh, and also I'll be meeting with our uh, national president, Councillor Linda Scott, our state president, uh, 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 Councillor Turley and uh, the member for Cootamundra. So we have a series of meetings on the Thursday afternoon and then the country mayors will meet on uh, the Friday. So we're just very pleased that we have a full program so the general manager can meet all of these, uh, all of these um, important folk within the local government sector. So that's all I had to report. Is there anything further for delegates' reports? No, if not, uh, councillors over to page 157, the mayor's report for the month of June. And there's a recommendation that the Mayor's report be noted on page 161. Thank you, Councillor Good. You'll move the recommendation that the Mayor's report be noted. Thank you. Second to Councillor Bushell. Thank you. Moved and seconded. Discussion? There's no further discussion. I put the motion. All those of that opinion, please say aye. To the contrary, no. Clear the motion. Carried. Thank you. Uh, Councillors, over to page 162. Staff reports. A motion, please receive staff reports. Councillor McLaren, thank you. Councillor Good, thank you very much. Moved, seconded. All those of that opinion, please say aye. To the contrary, no. Declare the motion carried. Thank you. Over to page 163, the General Manager's report, 12.1, calendar of events. The General Manager. Um, as written, um, there's not really any further comments to make on that particular report. Thank you. Uh, there's a recommendation there, councillors, for you to consider that the calendar of events be noted. Thank you, Councillor Good. Seconder for the motion. Thank you, the Deputy Mayor. Councillor Sinclair. Moved, seconded. Discussion? Uh, no further discussion. I put the motion. All those of that opinion, please say aye. The contrary, no. Clear the motion. Carry. Thank you. Over to page 164, 12.2, the seals, the General Manager. Uh, the report um, is there as written. Um, of note is the road maintenance council contract um, requiring the seal. It's an important um, income stream for the council. Thank you. Uh, council Oliver. Uh, thank you, Mr Mayor. I'll move that the seals be affixed. Thank you. Council Oliver is moving that way. Seconded, Councillor Reinhold. Moved, seconded. Uh, further discussion? There's no further discussion. I'll put the motion. All those of that opinion, please say aye. The contrary, no. Declare the motion carried. Thank you. Over to page 165, 12.3, the operational plan. The general manager. When you're ready. <laughs> Through you, Mr Mayor, um, a, quite a lot of achievements have been made um, for this quarter, or it wraps up the end of the financial year, um, and uh, there's quite a lot of detail in that report, so we will take any questions as um, required. Thank you. Thank you, Madam General Manager. Uh, councillors, any comments or questions? Uh, just, uh, just noting, councillors... Um, on what page was it? Just noting, councillors, on page 177, which said the um, the walk and talk tour. The, the terminology used uh, was has been cancelled. It hasn't been cancelled. It's been postponed. So uh, the general manager and I will work on uh, that date um, in, in the next. Well, certainly before the end of the year. It's important. Um, uh, that part of what we uh, of what we do. 
so, uh, councillors, you have that report in relation to the operational plan recommendation that council note the report or is it an alternative? Council Oliver. Yeah, thank you, Mr Mayor. I'll move that the report be noted. Thank you. Thank you. Council Oliver has moved the recommendation. Councillor Good, thank you. Moved, seconded. Discussion? Uh, no further discussion. I'll put the motion to you. All those of that opinion, please say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. I'll declare the motion carried. Thank you. Over to page 242, 12.4, the Community Strategic Plan, the General Manager. Through you, Mr Mayor. Um, this gives a summary of the actions that Council has um, undertaken in the past financial year in relation to the delivery of the Community Strategic Plan. Again, there's quite a lot of information and detail in that particular report, so if there's any questions, we'll take that. Thank you, Madam General Manager. Uh, Councillors, you have the Community Strategic Plan in the report, and there is a recommendation there for you to consider, and that being that the Strategic Plan for 22-23 is noted, or is there an alternative? Councillor Good? I'll move that way. Thank you. Yes, Councillor Good's moving the recommendation. Seconder for the motion, Councillor Judd. Thank you. Moved, seconded. There's no further discussion. I'll put the motion to you. All those of that opinion, please say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. <coughs> Clear the motion carried. Thank you very much. Anything uh, of an urgent, late nature, Madam General Manager? Through you, Mr Mayor, no, not tonight, thank you. <laughs> not tonight, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, Councillors, over to page 243, the Engineering Services Department report, 13.1, event, event application V8 superboats, uh, and the uh, author of the report, uh, I go to the Engineering Assets Manager. Yeah, thanks, Mr Mayor. Uh, the report is as written. Thank you, Mr Manager. Uh, Councillors, there is the report for you to consider. The Deputy Mayor, Councillor Sinclair. Oh, thanks, Mr Mayor. Um, this adds up to a fair bit of money over the three, mm. three events. Uh, you know, we've budgeted $3,200, and I think probably Council should stick with that. Uh, I think that's a, yeah, been fairly generous. So, yeah, I, I, my... My thoughts are that we just allocate the thirty two hundred dollars and uh, they they uh, they make up the di difference. Yeah, thank you. You wish to move that way? I'll move that way. Yes. Thank you. Seconded, Councillor Reinhold. Thank you. Moved and seconded. Discussion. I think they'd be grateful for any uh, level of support. I, I really, really do. Uh, if there's no further discussion, I'll put the motion to you. All those of that opinion, please say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. Declare the motion carried. Thank you. Very much, uh, councillors. We go over to page 249, 13.2, Aboriginal land claim. The uh, the engineering assets manager. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Mayor. Again, the re the report is as written. Thanks, Mr. Manager. Uh, councillors, the report is there for you to consider. There is a recommendation there that uh, council note the report, or is there an alternative? I go to councillor McLaren. Uh, I move that council note the report. Thank you. So Councillor McLaren is moving the recommendation. Second to Councillor Reinhold. Thank you. Move. Seconded. Is there discussion? There's no further discussion. I'll put the motion to you. All those of that opinion, please say aye. To the contrary, no. Clear the motion carried. Thank you very much. Uh, is there anything of an urgent late nature from our engineering managers? Uh, no, Mr Mayor. Thank you. Mr Manager? Nothing from me either, Mr Mayor. Thank you. The fellas are learning. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, councillors, let's now go over to page 256, Environmental Services Report 14.1, the Contaminated Lands Policy Report, and that's in the hands of the Director. Thanks, Mr Mayor. This is a culmination of the work of a re-rock working party um, based on a model policy, um, and we're recommending that we put it on public exhibition for a period of 28 days before adopting it. Thank you, Mr Director. Uh, councillors, you have the report, and there is a recommendation for Councillor to consider. Councillor Good. I'll move that way, Mr Mayor. Thank you. So Councillor Good's moving the recommendation, that being that the policy be put on public exhibition for the mandatory 28 days and with any submissions brought back to Council for consideration prior to any formal adoption. Is there a seconder for the motion? 
Thank you, Councillor Oliver. Moved, seconded. Discussion on the motion. Oops, my pen's stuck. Uh, no further discussion. If not, I'll put the motion to you. All those of that opinion, please say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. Uh, I declare the motion carried. Thank you. Mr. Mayor, if I can make Councillor a comment. Good. Uh, if I can make a comment on the um, um, an ancillary matter, I suppose it's good to see that there's work being carried out on the old Tamora Holden site. Um, it looks like there's some substantial work that's been going on after the last couple of weeks, which mm. is good to see. Mm. It is. Thanks, Councillor Good. It is great to see. I, I have the pleasure of naturalising uh, uh, one of the owners as an Australian citizen recently, and and uh, he, he certainly and his family seem most. Uh, Excited about immersing themselves uh, in Tamora Shire, which is um, which is terrific. Uh, thank you very much for that. Uh, nothing of an urgent late nature from the director. Nothing, Mr. Mayor. No, thanks very much. Uh, councillors, let's go over to page 293, the administration finance department report, and we have nil that's uh, mentioned in the report. Uh, does the director have anything of a urgent late nature. No, thank you, Mr. Mayor. No, thank you very much for that. Uh, councillors, let's now go over to page 294, correspondence 16.1, the Southern Sports Academy, and I go to the General Manager. Through you, Mr. Mayor, we received um, correspondence requesting um, the sponsorship for 10 athletes at $200 per athlete. Um, within the do donations budget, um, we've already expended $1,000 of that budget, so there remains $14,000 in that budget for Council's consideration. Thank you, Madam General Manager. Uh, Councillor uh, Good. Uh, thank you, Mr Mayor. I move that we uh, uh, support the application by contributing $200 per athlete to a total of $2,000. Thank you, Councillor Good. Uh, is there a second to Councillor Irvine? Thank you. Moved and seconded. Uh, discussion? I go to... I, uh, so have you finished, Councillor Good? I know. I'm, I just oh, like sorry. To, um, discussion, um, Councillor The discussions, yes. I just... I think it's good that we've got this many athletes that are, um, are at the Southern Sports Academy. Um, it's good to see that it's being used by the local community and... Uh, particularly the amount coming from the rugby union side. <laughs> <laughs> we, knew, we knew there'd be a shameless plug there. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Uh, further discussion, we go to the Deputy Mayor, Councillor Sinclair. Thanks, Mr Mayor. Well, I agree, it's, it's good to see that um, we have so many young uh, and talented um, sports person, people in the, in the Shire doing this, but it does put a big hole in our donations budget and so early in the financial year, and um, oh, I was just my thoughts are that maybe if we just put a thousand dollars towards that, then and, and um, apparently the um, sports council may be willing to put in the other thousand dollars just to take the pressure off our donations budget a bit. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Mayor. Look, that is something that we did. Uh, talk about. I, I was also worried about the, you know, taking that um, uh, amount out, agreeing with all uh, what Councillor Good and the Deputy Mayor have said. Um, but uh, I certainly am speaking with the Sports Council Treasurer that um, they'd be certainly very happy to um, look at a 50-50 split in, in relation to this. This is an exceptional year. It's the highest one, as we understand it, 10 outstanding young athletes. And we know Tamora Shah has always been a great supporter um, but uh, that certainly was something that um, uh, the Treasurer was uh, happy to consider as a wider executive. Um, uh, I think that would uh, go down quite well. So, uh, with that advice, uh, the Deputy Mayor. Um, well, I'd like to make an amendment. Yes. That, uh, that Council support the this request to the sum of $1,000 and uh, uh, refer, refer the, the, the other $1,000 to the sports for consideration. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Mr Deputy Mayor. Moving that way, seconded. I'll second that. Thank, you, Thank you, Councillor Oliver. Seconded. Uh, Councillors, you have um, the amendment there that the Deputy Mayor, Councillor Sinclair, has moved, seconded by Councillor Oliver, uh, that 
Council allocate $1,000 from their donations budget and refer the remainder to the Tomorrow District Sports Council, which of course is a subcommittee of uh, Tomorrow Shire Council. Uh, discussion, I'll go to Council McLaren. I agree with the motion in a lot of ways, but what happens if the Sports Council doesn't contribute 1000 Do we only send 1000 off and does that mean 10 of them get $100 or 5 have to miss out? Uh, thank you, uh, C Councillor McLaren, for the question. I, I, I believe, and I know speaking as the President of the Sports Council and, and the Treasurer on our Council, all of it sits on the Executive that uh, believe that in this particular case that the uh, Executive would be very pleased to assist. And um, <laughs> so thank you. But again, an important question. Uh, councillors, you have uh, the original motion, Councillor Good, Councillor Irvine, that uh, Council sponsors the 10 athletes at the value of $200 each, totalling of 2000 of course, coming out of the donation budget, and then the amendment that the Deputy Mayor, Councillor Sinclair and Councillor Oliver, uh, have moved, that uh, Council support the sum of 1000 and referring the remainder of the 1000 to the Tomorrow and District Sports Council. Uh, so I'm going to put the amendment first. Uh, all those of that opinion, please raise your hands. To the contrary, uh, declare the amendment carried. The amendment becomes the motion. All those of that opinion, please say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. Declare the motion carried. Thank you very much. And it's clear that Council are unanimous in wanting to support these athletes, even if they are mostly rah-rahs. Now, let's um, go to... Oh, sorry. The General Manager, any uh, urgent late items of correspondence, please? Through you, Mr Mayor, no. No, thank you. Uh, Councillors, we proceed over to page 297. We haven't received any business with notice. We haven't received any notices of motion. Uh, are there any urgent items of business without notice? Councillor Reinhold. Uh, yes, thank you, Mr Mayor. Um, I was just wondering how you got on with the NAB bank. Yeah, thanks, thanks. Councillor Reinhold. I do deem that as, uh, as urgent. The... The uh, council are obviously aware uh, of the news in relation to the NAB withdrawing on the 28th of uh, September. Uh, the Deputy Mayor and Director of Administration and Finance and I met recently with the Regional uh, Manager, Mr Leddy, and we met in this uh, chamber with uh, doors shut and had some, some very robust um, uh, and frank discussions. Uh, it's um, clear to us, unfortunately, that that decision has long been made and that is to close the branch. However, the one, uh, the one aspect that uh, we particularly then worked on was um, to ensure that the ATM, uh, at the very least, uh, remains open. Uh, he gave us an undertaking to go away and consider uh, that. Uh, he has uh, advised us that um, they... Uh, uh, keen to have negotiations with the owner of the building and um, and that's where it's at at the moment. We haven't received a call yet to advise us of um, uh, of uh, where that those discussions are at. I uh, understand Mr Letty's on annual leave uh, at the moment. So that, uh, Councillor Reinhold, is the update. Uh, so it seems that it seems that they're sort of listening in in part. Councillor Reinhold. Yes, well, thank you, Mr Mayor. Um, with so many elderly people in our community, you know, internet banking is just not... Their thing, no. Their thing. Um, Travelling to Cootamundra or to Wagga is just a bit ridiculous. Um, and I sort of have the feeling that if Council has got some substantial deposits with the NAB Bank that maybe we should be looking elsewhere with our money and if uh, money talks, money walks. Mm. So I'd like to uh, just put that out there anyway. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much Councillor Reinhold. I, I think um, that's certainly something that uh, Council should consider. I, I just wonder whether Councillor Reinhold would like to hold off until we hear uh, in relation to the ATM decision. Well, it might be nice encouragement for them <laughs> to keep the ATM. <laughs> That's right. So are you, are you happy, Councillor Reinhold, if, um, uh, if we just uh, keep our powder dry, but also mentioning that, that, that 
certainly has been raised. <laughs> For the moment, anyway. Yeah, and then we can revisit the space this time in a month. <laughs> oh, look, it, it's appalling. Uh, of course it's appalling, and um, uh, it, it's disappointing to say the very least, and uh, it just, to me, just shows that they don't care. But um, at the end of the day, uh, if, if we can keep this ATM, that's at least something. Uh, but um, let, let's see how we go. Yeah. Thank you. So, <laughs> but thank you very much, uh, Councillor Reinhold. So no other urgent business without notice? Councillor Judd. <coughs> thank you, Mr Mayor. Um, I was going to make a comment in public forum, but running out of time. But uh, I attended the um, hospital consultation at Airy Park this morning, and I raised the uh, situation of those people who live outside of Tamora. Uh, I gave the situation back in... Easter time this year, I had to attend emergency at 12.30am in the morning and um, my wife Helen brought me in. Anyway, the doctor decided I need to stop in hospital overnight. But the fact was that Helen then had to travel home in the dark at 2am in the morning. And I made the point this morning that the, um, it was very necessary you know, that the facilities are partners or something be providing a new hospital plan to uh, for a family to be able to stop over in, in those sort of situations. And, and following, I think Councillor McLaren raised the subject of private areas for families as mm -hmm. well. And I think that, anyway, they seem to be uh, on board with that, but I just wanted to report that mm. we've got to be thinking of people, you know, this Tamora Hospital will be serving a wide area, not just Tamora Town, and uh, we've got to be catering for the, um, you know, those who come mm. in and, uh, all hours of the night and, all, all different reasons, so mm -hmm. but just like to report on that point. Yeah. Thanks very much, Councillor Judd. Very, very important point, and uh, thank you for that. Now is the time to be raising that, because we are a district hospital, and again, drawing on uh, those other uh, satellite areas, and um, so, yeah, thank you very, very much for that, and we're meeting with them again tomorrow at the hospital, um, the team, and we'll reiterate that, uh, that point as well. So thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Councillor Good. Um, just, to council. just to continue on from Councillor Judd's um, statement, it's also particularly necessary um, for maternity services if uh, um, people from out of town, uh, particularly if there's a um, long or complicated um, birth, that there needs to be accommodation mm. for the partner as well so that um, uh, yeah, they don't have to drive home when exhausted and dark and mm. um, there, there's they're safe as well. Mm. Yeah, thanks very much, Councillor Good. Uh, I understand that there's supposed to be a seven or eight units um, that are being uh, built, but perhaps um, you know there may be something there or something else elsewhere uh, on the actual design. But uh, now's the time to be speaking up. So, so thank you very, very much. Uh, if there's no further urgent business without notice, <coughs> councillors, we proceed over to page 298. The councillor's information paper, a motion to receive the paper, please. Councillor Oliver, thank you. Seconder, thank you, Councillor Good. Moved, seconded, discussion. Uh, all those with that opinion, please say aye. Aye. Contrary, no. Clear the motion carried. Items in the information paper. Councillor Bushell. Uh, thank you, Mr Mayor. Uh, I just want to question Councillor Good on the itinerary that we received. What is the definition of dreamy weather? <laughs> <laughs> so what, uh, is this in relation to Sister City, is it... Councillor Bushell. Sister City, Sister I forgot Sister. to say that. Yeah, no, thank you. Councillor Good. Um, I actually wasn't at that meeting, so I can't tell you what the definition of dreamy weather yeah. is. You'll take it on notice, though, Mr. Yeah. Councillor Good. Well, more importantly to that uh, question, Councillor Bushell, I'm more concerned about on page 301 uh, in relation to the regulatory control report from the Ranger. I'm wondering about um, how the gate that was at hospital is going. I understand that uh, there's a gate that was in hospital and it's okay. Uh, I'm just wondering if there are further uh, information in relation to that gate, because one of them chased me up there recently, and which wasn't pleasant. Um, the well, director? I was going to throw it back to you. You're more intimate with the gate. Than... <laughs> <coughs> this is a, a family show, listeners. and uh, <laughs> But uh, dispel that myth that the Masons do not ride billy goats. <laughs> 
they do chase you up at Tamora District Hospital, though, I can assure you of that. Uh, <laughs> I led with my chin, I suppose. Uh, Councillor Reinhold. Thank you, Mr Mayor. Now, this one is serious. Yes. Um, the noise, the, the fireworks. I've oh. had some residents up near the showground that have got dogs and guaranteed every weekend they're going off. Why can't the police... Stop it. Thank you. Thanks, Thank Councillor Ryan. It's a real serious issue and one that's um, raised regularly. Certainly, I know Councillor Oliver, as Chairman of the Police Consultative Committee, I'm sure will comment on uh, shortly. Uh, Councillor Bushell, is, is this in relation to that issue? I'm not commenting on that, Councillor. So, thank you. So, in relation to the fireworks, Councillor Oliver. Yeah, thank you, Mr Mayor. This was brought up at our last tomorrow Police Committee meeting. And what they do, they, they set timers on the fireworks and by the time the fireworks go off they're long gone so it's pretty hard to track them down oh, but, uh, it is an issue that the police are struggling with but i'm not sure whether they'll have any solutions for us or not but that's mm. uh, that's what's going on thank you thanks council oliver yes and and councillor Arnold, just further that the general manager and i have um uh, we met with inspector Justin Faulkner, our new inspector based in Tamora yesterday, and uh, he and Superintendent Splay are looking forward to meeting with Council at our August meeting. And uh, so these are some things that we can, um, you know, and please think about different things that you'd like to talk, because we'll have a good half hour with them. Uh, so, um, yeah, we, we can raise it then. Thank you. Uh, Councillor Bushell, items of the uh, information paper. Uh, I've got to mention to you. Thank you, Mr Mayor. Um, in the development applications, there's demolition. I know that the Director of Environmental touched on those items, but I have received comments about the people that used to occupy those dwellings, were they rehomed in a satisfactory process? And, you know, there's just the comments from the community, so I just thought I'd pass that on. Thanks very much, Councillor Bushell. Uh, the Director, you don't have any comments? No, Mr Mayor. No, thank you. Uh, Councillors, any other items? <coughs> Councillor McLaren. I just wanted to comment on the fortuitous time we've had with low interest rates because if we had to do our swimming pool now, we wouldn't get it. So 3.29 for 20 years. I'm just eternally grateful for this period of renovation of our major assets. So that was probably won't be any more. <laughs> no, thanks, Councillor McLaren. Very good point. Uh, Councillors, anything further? Councillor McLaren. One more thing, commenting on the Heritage Committee, we had a bonds that turn up at the most recent meeting. There were practically no chairs left, if you see the attendance. Mm. And the Heritage Committee is doing some fantastic work. They, I do note that they've got a new oral history project which will um, be recording the oral histories of prominent elderly <coughs> residents of the Shire and that'll be kicking off soon. Um, but it, there's lots happening in that space. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Councillor McLaren. It is a pleasure to see that there's so much enthusiasm uh, there with the Heritage Committee, and well done to the Chairman, Director of Environmental Services, and councillors and community. Actually, there's nearly all of the councillors that are members of the Heritage Committee, uh, which is uh, very pleasing. Uh, any other items, councillors? If, if not, in accordance with section 10A of the Local Government Act 1993, advise that there are several matters that are deemed confidential. Accordingly, I require a motion to have those matters considered. Thank you, Councillor Good. Seconder for the motion, please. Councillor Oliver, thank you. Move. Seconded. All those of that opinion, please say aye. aye. For the contrary, no. Clear the motion carried. Thank you. In closed session. The recording has commenced. We resume into open council. And, uh, councillors, I advise that the following motions have been brought forward from closed session into open session. On the motion of Councillor Good and Councillor Oliver, it was resolved to move into confidential section of council at 5.11pm and the motion was carried. Minutes of the Assets and Operations Committee meeting held on the 11th of July of 2023 on the motion of the Deputy Mayor, Councillor Sinclair and Councillor Good. It was resolved that the reports be received and the motion was carried. On the motion of Councillor Good and seconded of the Deputy Mayor, Councillor Sinclair, it was resolved that the reports and recommendations as presented be adopted and the motion was carried. Employee Incentive Scheme Application on the motion of Councillor McLaren and Councillor Judd. 
it was resolved that Council endorse a Category 3 reward for the nominated employee, and the motion was carried. On the motion of Councillor Good and Councillor Reinhold, it was resolved that Council moves the motions from closed into open session, and the motion was carried. And on the motion of the Deputy Mayor, Councillor Sinclair and Councillor Reinhold, it was resolved that Council moves out of closed session into open Council at 5.23pm, and the motion was carried. Councillors, could I please have a motion to formally adopt those resolutions? Thank you. The Deputy Mayor, Councillor Reinhold, moved and seconded. All those of that opinion, please say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. I declare the motion carried. And thank you very much, Councillor. Just in relation to those motions, that going forward from August, that I will be calling on the General Manager to uh, read those uh, resolutions so you will be having the pleasure of listening to her voice uh, <laughs> to go through those, uh, those motions going forward and, and that um, uh, is in keeping with our uh, updated code of meeting practice. So that's very, very good of the General Manager to offer to do that. <laughs> so, councillors, again, thank you very, very much uh, for your contributions. Thank you, Madam General Manager, uh, for, for your efforts, for your maiden uh, appearances, our General Manager at our formal council meeting, and to all uh, directors and staff and managers, thank you very much, and I declare the meeting closed.